Today's topic is about a key step in our 3D printing journey, converting an STL file from Tinkercad into G-code through a slicing software. STL files are 3D models we've crafted in Tinkercad. To translate this into a language our 3D printer understands, we use a slicing software like Kura. This software slices our model into thin layers and converts these into G-code, which are detailed instructions for our 3D printer. But there's more to slicing than just translation. We also get to set several settings to customize our print. Here are a few key ones. Build plate temperature, this determines how hot the heat bed gets. A right temperature helps the first layer of filament stick well and prevents warping. Layer height, this is the thickness of each layer that the printer lays down. Smaller values yield high resolution prints but take longer, while larger values are quicker but might be less detailed. Infill density, this decides how solid the inside of our print is. A high infill means a sturdy but slow to print object, while a low infill makes for a lighter, quicker print. Support, this is a temporary structure the slicer adds to the model to support overhangs during printing. The support is removed after the print is complete. By understanding and manipulating these settings, we can control the quality, speed, and strength of our prints.